have an opportunity to come to the House of Lords, which is uh, an unbelievable venue, um, and bring some of our partners and young people here, uh, and have Michael host uh, an event like this is important to us. Uh, and I think tonight uh, gives us uh, that platform and that opportunity to, to showcase some unbelievable stories uh, and unbelievable work that's being done. We've had an amazing year. Um, and it's allowed us to relaunch the Street Violence Ruins Live strategy, which started 11 years ago, sadly after the death of Rob Knox. You've had 10,000 uh, people that have gone through blood pressure checks. We've had more young people coming through football courses and programmes. We've revamped the Charlton Challenge, um, which has been going for near on 20 years. We launched the Extra Time Hub, uh, funding from Football League Trust and Sport England. So really pleased for an older people's project. We've got 70 attending on a Wednesday, and that's fantastic for this group to come together. Addresses social isolation, and we're really pleased that we launched the event down here at the Valley, and thanks to the club to allow us to host it. And recognition from the Up and Atom project that won a, a national award for the work around mental health. So I just want to thank everyone for their support tonight. Uh, patrons and sponsors. Special mention to the guys from Regular Cleaning for their support and sponsoring tonight's event. Regular Cleaning wanted to sponsor the event today because we wanted to show appreciation for the amazing work that CACs do. It's very humbling to see what difference um, we can make by supporting the different projects and by supporting the upbeats, by meeting the families, um, by seeing the friendships and the the community really that, that's made by being part of these programmes and to know that we've made a small um, contribution and, and, and played a little part in that is just such a great thing. All I'd like to say to everyone that's been nominated is the best of luck from everybody at Regular Cleaning. So Team 10, they were on our Red Wave, which was our first wave this summer um, in West Kent. And they come together and planned a great project around sort of mental health and positive well-being. There was a certain bridge in the local area that was quite known as a spot where people went and committed suicide. So what the, the young people done from Team 10 is they wrote positive messages and placed them on the bridge. So in case anyone was feeling a bit down and went to that spot, to perhaps end their life there were some amazing positive messages that they could read and um, it actually got some great traction on social media and we had APM who was our, our, deliver, our contract deliverer in, in Kent to say that actually one of their workers in Birmingham came down to Kent, saw the messages put it on social media up in Birmingham and it actually went like all over the country so what they started from home seeing that message at home literally traveled around it was just amazing so you know we are super proud of what they achieved and their project actually saved lives which is what NCS is all about so yeah well done to them As an organisation, we work predominantly in partnership with local churches, helping to empower volunteers and to work with young people in their communities. So we provide safe spaces where young people can be, they can hang out with their peers, and they can build positive relationships with volunteers and leaders who will support and help them journey through adolescence, overcoming issues that they face along the way. Now, Charlton Athletic have been really great in partnering with me and supporting me in really developing our girls' programme. And as a qualified now Zumba teacher and yoga teacher, as well as a youth worker, I'm able to go into schools and work with girls, and not just to talk about self-esteem and self-worth, but to actually physically do something to help them develop it in themselves. But Gwenny Jude for Christ have been with us since the beginning in 2012 
and they've continually delivered good work. So they started delivering and still do deliver a mainstream generic youth session, uh, but they've gone on to different tangents beyond that as we've needed it and we've requested it within the uh, service. And at the end of the day, that's enabled us to sustain and, and have continual good performance within the youth service. So um, hats off to them and they're a really welcome partner of ours. Yeah, so I've been working with Gavin for 11 years now um, and my experience of Gavin has been just so consistent across all the strands he's worked across. You know, huge effort he puts into all the work he does, all really enthusiastic, young people love him and having seen him work across all of those strands was really impressive but for me he's really come to the fore within the work he's done for our disability work. He's an upbeat legend, the boys love him, the parents love him, all the coaches that he works with love him as well um, and just he's just gone way and above the call of duty really over a consistent period of time and for me he's a, a well deserving winner of this award and we look forward to Gavin enriching our programmes and our organisation and the young people he works with for many years to come. We are updates. We are Gavin. 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 We are. We are Gavin. Jose. We are chosen. We are the updates. Congratulations, Gavin. You're the unsung hero of Charlton Upbeats. Your dedication to the boys is, is limitless and your understanding of each of their individual personalities and needs is something few people manage. Our fondest memory will always be you embracing Twist and Shout when Adam Stefosley refused to let it go. The Upbeats were so proud to celebrate their national win in the same way that Charlton celebrated their promotion. Peace. Come on! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so this time last year I had a lot of problems with uh, drug misuse and uh, associated with a lot of uh, gang problems, things like that. And uh, I started working with John from CACT and uh, he's just sort of helped me over the last year to develop myself and sort of uh, get my life back on track, which it has. I'm now looking forward to starting a course soon so I can hopefully help people that went through the same sort of thing as me. Yeah, I mean, I've sort of uh, lacked motivation a lot to sort of push myself forward, but John's helped me with that a lot. He's helped me apply for jobs and things like that. Whereas before, I just sat around doing nothing. It's definitely changed a lot and it's looking good for the future. When we first started meeting, uh, he was much more withdrawn and he's now much more kind of his own, his own man. And that's really good to see that difference over, we've been working since September last year and see that change in, in him. But the kind of mentoring thing is about not holding on to the people that we work with all the time. That hopefully is that ultimately we can let them go and they can move on and, and move out and do their own thing. And it seems like George has taken those steps now. So it's a really good model for, for other young people and the fact that other people are seeing the thing that he's doing. Yeah. I met Emil um, last November-ish and uh, from that day we just clicked and went and I've seen from last November up to today how he's improved and he's um, you know and he's outgoing and he talks to people and he laughs and he jokes and he's just such an improvement considering when I first met him but he's a lovely lovely chap and we're the best of friends. <laughs> I lost my wife um, last year and meeting all these people, you know, it's really great, you know, and I'm really, you know, enjoy myself. And I can't wait, like, um, when the week, like Monday, to go to the men's club, and Tuesday to go and play football, and Wednesday come, yeah. I really can't wait, I really enjoy, you know. And even all my friends said, God, I said, Emil, we never see you now, you're always out. <laughs> yeah. Oh, since Emil's uh, become a cat service user, he's been amazing. He come to the walks program first uh, then he come down to extra time group which is on the Wednesday and he's made friends there and then from going on to that he's now uh, attends a walking football on a Tuesday that I run uh, and also the men's health social evening on a Monday night so he's been amazing. <laughs>